here with Pericles. Um, we are having so much fun today practicing these sharing territory exercises together. And because he's just being such a great boy and he's having so much fun, I decided to do five piles of hay with Pericles while he eats his breakfast. So this is a really uh, fun way to use uh, the meal times to enjoy sharing territory and experiencing some nice things with your horse. So five piles of hay exercise is an amazing way to teach you and your horse how to lead from behind. It is a precursor to ritual number four, leading from behind. Five piles of hay is about reciprocal movements. And in this exercise, you can do everything that you have practiced up until this exercise in, in this exercise. In other words, you can um, go up and say hello to your horse. You can ask your horse to move off a pile of hay. You can just hang out and share territory with your horse. You can ask for head up and head down. And you can ask him to move on and follow him. You can um, go into the middle and call him to you and take him to another pile of hay. All of these things will be um, interactions that you can do with your horse. And this is about when to lead when to follow and when to pause. We wanna make sure that we are incorporating all of these things so that our horse feels comfortable in this space with us. So in this exercise, it's all about harmony. We don't have an agenda. It's a good idea for you to take at least 45 minutes of your time to an hour if you're gonna practice this exercise. We won't do that today for this particular video. Um, but it is how you are going to begin your horse in this exercise. So, Pericles has never done five piles of hay, and that's why I thought, wow, it would be fun to do it with him right now, because we just did one pile of hay exercise, and he did fabulously, and then we did head up and head down, and he did great. So, I thought maybe this would be a good time to introduce five piles of hay to Pericles. Um, it comes in three stages, this exercise, so it's gonna be something that you um, don't expect to get through in one day, okay? So the first phase of this particular exercise, when you're moving your horse from pile to pile, is going to be that when you first ask him to go, you begin in the front of him, and I'll demonstrate it in a minute, and you let him go wherever he wants to go and he can hang out at that pile for a minute and you can hang out with him. And just be with your horse in the moment, enjoying the beautiful day. The second phase that you might not even get to your first day, but the second phase is that you would ask your horse to go to a particular pile. So that would be like leading him, right? Because in the first phase, we're gonna let him go wherever he wants to go and just follow him there really slow, low energy follow him. I wanna just come be with you. In this second phase where we're directing him to a pile, we wanna have a little bit more of a, a push for him to go to that pile. So we're gonna follow with a little bit more push energy. And you'll see that when I do this exercise with Terry. The third phase is where you're gonna ask for halt in between the piles of hay. Now, that's a stretch for a lot of horses, so it might take some time of you practicing this exercise. But remember, you began asking for halt when you were doing the introducing um, food exercises because you were bringing him up to the food and asking him to wait, right? And that was the first beginning of the introduction of a halt for your horse. Then um, you come into here and you're saying, okay, I want you to wait just like he did when he was with you going up to the food on the intro to food exercise. But I want you to wait while I'm behind you. So you can see how all of these exercises build on the next exercise. So I should be able to lead him to a pile and indicate to him where he can go at any given, any given time once he understands this exercise. And once you're at that point is when you're actually leading your horse from behind and it will 
end up being that when you get to practice leading from behind ritual number four, you won't have to use hay, okay? So the reason we like to begin with this hay and using hay for this exercise, I mean, is because when you're moving the horse and leading him from behind in the beginning, he might not understand, you might not be clear, he might try to turn and say to you, but when you start and you have hay in these five piles, you're giving him a place to go. So he's willingly going forward and wanting to go to another pile of hay. So as you can see, I set up five piles and I set them up so that they're all of equal amount of hay. Well, they were when we started, uh, but in this talking, he's been eating some. Oftentimes, if there's not a lot of hay in one, they'll, they won't want to go to that pile. So we'll just see how that works for Perry. But I'm going to start out by asking him to go, and I'm going to let him go wherever he wants to go first. He went right off the hay when I asked him to, and he went over to this pile. So I'm just going to let him hang out there a little bit, and I'm going to hang out with him. But I want to mention that when you first begin this exercise and you're coming up in front of your horse to move him, you do not want to confuse your horse with the hello ritual. In hello, we go directly up to the horse, we reach out for hello, and we walk directly out. We want to be perfectly square coming in on hello. And because a student is still learning and gauging their energy and their body language, oftentimes a horse will get confused if you come square up on him and ask him to move. He may eventually start to anticipate when you come up for hello that you're going to move him and you don't want that. So if you just take yourself a little off center, to the left or to the right of the horse, just a bit like in front of one of the legs, it gives a definition to the fact that this is a position that I'm going to come in and ask you to move and go the other way. So I wanted to make that clear because I was in a, in a position over there near that fence that you might not have been able to see exactly how I did that. But it's an important thing for you to focus on so that your horse doesn't get confused and stop allowing you to come in and say hello to going to come up and hang out with him. He walked away from me, so I'm going to walk away from him. And he does pretty good with it. He's not, he's, he's not great yet with it because, like I said, we haven't practiced it very long, but he does understand leading from behind. So I'm going to try this time to direct him to a specific pile of hay and see how he reacts to that. And if he understands that when I'm leading him to a specific pile, that he could actually stop there when I stop moving my feet. So this is really important in this second phase because when you ask the horse to go and, you, and the horse gets up to the pile that you want him to go to, of course you're back away from him, right? So when you stop, you want to give him enough time 
that if he took one more step, he'd be at the pile. Because if you wait to stop when he's at that pile, it's pro he'll probably keep going past the pile. So that's really, really important to keep in mind when you're doing this exercise. So your timing is everything. Isn't that nice he chose to join me? So I'm going to walk him back over to that pile. Come on. Come on. Come on. And this is what we want. This is what we want. This is what horses do in nature all day long together. They hang out sharing food. They move each other off of spots. They do all kinds of social bonding around food. And that's what we're trying to emulate to create and deepen the bond with our horse. So this is really, really, really nice. I love how he's connecting up with me in this. So I kind of want to detach from him a little bit without it being too abrupt because he is connected to me. And I want to ask him to go to a specific pile. I think I'm going to try to see if I can get him to go to that far pile and see how it works out for me. So this will be a first. Go. So that worked out fantastic. I'm so excited because this is Harry's first time doing five paws of hay exercise. So it just shows me that he is really following my lead. He is really focused on me and he's paying attention to where I'm asking him to go. So the, the most interesting uh, thing will be if we can get him to halt in between piles. Now I do want to go back again and repeat to you that I've been doing a lot of bonding and sharing territory with, with Pericles, um, even though I haven't practiced these exercises. and. This is not the typical example of maybe what it would look like with your horse if you've never done the water hole rituals, but you will see that little by little, this will progress into exactly this. Now, this is also today, and I'm working with the horse that I have today, which is excellent, but that doesn't mean that he's gonna show up the same way tomorrow, and I want you to take that to heart too, because if your horse is doing fantastic today, but tomorrow he's completely uninterested in doing what you're asking him to do, you need to let that go because this exercise is about bonding. And it's about reciprocal movements. Sometimes I'm gonna move you, sometimes I'm gonna be with you, sometimes I wanna walk with you. And you need to make sure that wherever you are in this exercise that you're always in connection with your horse. That's the most important thing. Over everything, no matter what, if our horse is saying no, we want to go back to what works. Most important thing about this program. So now I'm just going to go up and see if he'll come with me to a pile of hay. If I could call him up. So now I have him in a position that, um, that he's really connected to me and he's very focused on me. So I think that I might feel comfortable enough that I could ask him to stop in between piles of hay. Sun is coming out. Again, I want to reinforce that this isn't an exercise that you will practice this quickly from face to face. It's for the sake of this lesson that I'm jumping on and the fact that he is actually doing what I'm asking that I'm allowed to continue and, uh, and show you this exercise this quickly. But you're gonna wanna take a lot of time in between each step. So I'm gonna walk over here 
And I'm going to see. <laughs> okay. So he's very connected. So I'm going to have to disconnect from him at some point, but there's no hurry here. Let's go over here. Come on. I'm going to see if I can get him to move on and see if I can halt him between piles. Ooh. Well, how do you like that? <laughs> okay. Now, he's decided to come in and connect with me, which I'm going to say is A-okay. Come here. Because he did respond to me. He stopped straight when I asked him to. He didn't stop and disengage his hindquarters and face me up and look at me. He chose to connect with me after he halted and probably because I moved while I was talking even. I don't know. But the thing is, I'm not going to worry about that. But as we progress in this exercise and I ask him to halt, I want him to halt and wait. So maybe I would have and should have said, wait, but I'm not gonna do it on the very first try. I'm just so excited and pleased that he was able to follow that uh, direction and stop in between those two piles. So I think that we have accomplished everything that we would want to show you in this exercise. So remember, do lots of hellos, spend a whole bunch of time hanging out with your horse, Ask him to come with you to a pile. Practice head up and head down. So all of the previous exercises that you have already practiced before you got to this video, you can incorporate in here. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. This is my favorite exercise out of all the sharing territory exercises. So have a really good day.